created Kershaw's Challenge was actually last spring training and we kind of were thinking what can we raise money for that we could do personally but we could also ask other people to do it with us and so we thought that the greatest need over there is a, a, a home for kids who are battling AIDS and HIV and one of our greatest inspirations was a girl named Hope who Clayton and I have been sponsoring for a couple years now and she is 11 years old, a double orphan and battling HIV. So she um, she really needs a place to call home. She needs a safe haven somewhere that um, parents are going to take them out of the cycle and bring them up to be productive citizens and to feel empowered and to feel significant. And so she was our main inspiration for this because there are so many kids that need a safe place to call home. So we thought of the idea of Hope's Home. That's the little girl's name is Hope. So um, this, this house is going to be hopefully able to hold 12 to 15 kids and have parents that raise them as mentors and encouragers. And so Kershaw's challenge, what we decided to do is to strike out to serve. So with every strikeout Clayton made this season, he wanted to donate $100 towards this cause. And so it's been really cool to see how the team and how Dodger fans and how this community has really rallied around us and really wanted to be a part of it as well. You got some lefties, I like it. <laughs> At least one. Yeah, it's been great working with, you know, Old High School and uh, Highland Park's been great about, you know, setting up this camp for us and, you know, all the proceeds are going to Kershaw's Challenge, which uh, this year is all the proceeds are going to build an orphanage in Africa that we're calling the Hope's Home in honor of this little girl Hope that we met. And, uh, you know, it's just it's just special to get to do something like that. And we're excited to go back over there, see the, you know, foundations being built. And, uh, you know, hopefully by this time next year we got an orphanage up and running. When we got back to, um, from Zambia last off season, it was really cool because we had a lot of media and friends and family who wanted to get to know a lot about the work we were doing over there. And so it's great to raise awareness, but at the same time we wanted to do a call to action where people could come alongside of us and be a part of it. We're happy to have the platform that we do to do some, uh, you know, some good things around the world and, you know, just uh, different venues that we might be able to get into because of, uh, you know, the gift that we've been given in baseball. Neither of us think it's a coincidence that the year that he decided to strike out to serve, that he went to go lead the league in strikeouts. And so we just think that absolutely the Lord has blessed this whole mission and we're just so excited to see where it goes from here. So right now we have raised about $117,000 for it and 100 of that, 100,000 of that will go towards the actual building of the house and anything that we raise over that will go towards furnishing, putting these kids through school, any kind of medical treatment that they need, but then also be able to sponsor these kids until we find full-time sponsors for each of them. This past season we got to look at the game of baseball with a greater perspective. We got to look at it as a way to give back and a way to use Clayton's platform to really make a difference. And so um, for me just to stand next to him and watch this whole season unfold has been one of the coolest things as his wife and as his best friend and just as someone that's gotten to witness a huge piece of greatness in his life and in his career this season.